Hi sewing friends, my name is Elisa and this is my channel, my superpower. Welcome. Today's video is going to be about my most recent make, the Forester Coat by Twig and Tail. This is my second time making this coat. The first Forester I made was out of a wool blend um, with some um, shiny thread uh, in the middle. Um, it was uh, very heavy. Um, I love that coat. I lived in it for most of my pregnancy. Uh, but now, as you can see, the wave is here. And um, I need it because the days are getting warmer um, or less cold, I should say, uh, at the moment. I needed a second uh, coat with a nestle down so that I can um, wear my baby in the, in the baby carrier. Um, and still have a coat on and I needed something that was um, more lightweight. So um, this is my second version. I'm going to leave you with some pictures of me wearing the Forester coat with and without the Nestle Down add-on uh, with the baby carrier. The fabric I use for this version came from the um, charity shop. I bought a set of um, uh, a duvet cover and pillow, pillowcase or pillow cover uh, in flannel. Um, I didn't realize it at the time, but it's a very wintry design. I think these are snowflakes. And uh, as I said, this is flannel. Um, the duvet cover was uh, 1 meter 35 centimeters wide and 2 meters long um, and um, so I had a lot of fabric to work with uh, because it's of course both sides um, and the pillowcase was I think 80 centimeters by 80 centimeters um, that also doubled so I used um, the same fabric for the outer fabric and the lining except for the sleeves i didn't have enough for the sleeves or for both uh, sleeves so i um, used a different fabric for the sleeve lining uh, this is the same lining that i used for my previous forest coat a uh, forester coat i used a separating zipper a plastic separating zipper in the color white um, because i thought it would uh, go well with the um, with the fabric, and um, instead of snaps this time, I opted. Um, I went with uh, Velcro, um, mostly because I didn't have enough snaps at home, and I wanted to to finish this coat quickly. Uh, so I decided to apply Velcro instead of snaps. Um, I could have um, made buttons, but um uh, that would take also longer with the button cases and uh, sewing the buttons so i decided to um, make a version with velcro maybe for the next one that i make i will try um to make some buttons uh to apply buttons uh yes this time i um didn't make a collar uh sorry this time i didn't make a hood um, so it's a hoodless um, coat this time. Um, I did not, I made a size K. So this time I went down um, a few sizes. Um, it fits perfectly um, when I don't have the nestle down. Uh, and it's it's still a bit snug when I don't have the nestle down, just a, just a regular uh, coat. Um, but I think as my weight as my weight goes down, um, it would be okay, it will be okay. And with the nestle down, is more than enough room for the baby to to continue to grow. Um, yes, this time I did remember to put a label, handmade label, uh, handmade with love, and I also remember to put in a little loop to hang my coat. I usually forget both of this, uh, these things. Um, and I, um, I uh, um, cut the fabric or I cut the pattern 
as it was i used my uh, projector to cut this um the this coat um on my last version i shortened the sleeves quite a bit and um at the end for riding the bike they were too small too short but this time um i just cut a, a straight size k uh, made no alterations and it fits perfectly um what else what else what else i think that's everything i have to say about i really enjoy this pattern uh, the instructions are very very good and as always you have um, uh, a video tutorial or several video tutorials on the twig and tail page that help you that guide you along um, and uh, my favorite thing about this coat is um, that it's an upcycle i love taking fabric um, and giving it a second life or third life the fabric that i chose the duvet covers um, they were um, not in the best condition or um, i should say they uh, they're used and you can see that they were used um, and so because it's flannel you can see there's quite a lot of peeling depending on how you look at the fabric um, it kind of has a nap like um, like velvet or velour, something like that. And um, I thought I could have shaved it um, prior to uh, cutting the fabric, cutting the, the pattern. Um, but I, I kind of like the, um, the look of it. It looks, um, it looks cozier I think so I left it as it was and I like the the effect that it has I like the the final look one of my favorite aspects of sewing is the ability of um, taking something that um, would probably end uh, in the trash um, and uh, giving it a new life so um, in this case uh, instead of buying new fabric I went to the charity shop, I bought um, uh, duvet covers that had been used before, so they had a whole life. When we, you can see um, they, they were used. Um, and now, uh, instead of um, ending in the trash bin or staying in the inner shelf uh, forever uh, until someone disposes of them, I um, I bought it and made a new garment. So for me, this is new fabric. Uh, it's like a new canvas and I can uh, create something completely new out of it. Um, and that's something that uh, really fills me with joy. So when I use something, when I create something using old fabric, um, it has a special, um, uh, special feeling for me. Um, makes me extra proud. Yeah, so that's uh, all for me about my Forester coat, my second Forester coat. Um, I will be making a third one, I'm sure, for the summer months. Um, I think this time without the nestle down um, add-on because uh, I think I won't be using the, the baby carrier um, that much at that point. And um, probably in uh, denim or some kind of canvas and uh, unlined. Uh, and because I want to, um, to explore more sewing techniques and uh, all the options that the, 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 this pattern offers, uh, my third version will probably be with uh, buttons instead of snaps or Velcro. Uh, and without a hood um, and yeah that's it the next thing I planned to sew is a dress uh, fingers crossed that I get some sewing time soon um, I plan to sew the fable dress also from twig and tail um, I'm in desperate need of uh, garments that are um, nursing friendly uh, and that one has a button placket, so uh, that's what I'm going to try next. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you on the next one, hopefully very soon. Have a great day. Bye.